What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. Now today, I got another good one for you. Now you guys read that title, you seen that thumbnail, so you already know, I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make Southern Fried Green Tomatoes. And when you see my tomatoes, maybe I should be calling it Southern Fried Green Slash Red Tomatoes. Hey listen, super easy, I really don't wanna over talk this, I wanna go over these ingredients and I'ma show you what's gonna take it over the top and that's gonna be that Creole kick, so let's get it. Okay, so look, I'm gonna go ahead and just start off by showing you, you know, my tomatoes, right? You guys can look on IG when I posted them. These three back here were starting to get red. They weren't as red as this, you know what I mean? So listen, when you pull them and you, you know, you're getting ready to use them or if you buy them in the store, don't forget they're gonna ripen, right? These just hadn't caught up to it. So, and the reason we're using green is because they still firm. And these right here, because they starting to turn, they still firm. They nice and these won't become mushy. That's why we don't use, you know, red, you know, tomatoes. Now, let's go over this right here. I'm gonna just say here, and I'm gonna show it to you a little different this time. What I did was, look, this is salt. We're gonna use a little salt right here in our flour, cause this is gonna be a station right here, right? Okay, here, look, we got breadcrumbs. These are Parmesan breadcrumbs. You guys can use Italian, plain, whatever you would like. Right here, I got a half a cup. This is a cornmeal, and this just happens to be a fine grind. And this right here, this is that Creole kick. You guys can see it right here. Listen, for those of you guys that are new, that don't have, you know, haven't had this yet, I highly recommend you guys getting this. This right here is a seasoning that will take all your dishes over the top. So, this is another station. Now let's move on to the next one. Now here, look, I got a half a cup of milk and I got two eggs. And this is the station. We just gonna, you know, scramble these, you know, whisk these together, add it with the milk. And this is gonna be a station here. We're gonna move over here, we got a station here, and then we got a station here. Not in that particular order, but just so you guys can see. Now, let's cut these tomatoes and let's make this happen. Okay, so look, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and cut these, right? You guys can use a mandolin, but I'm using this right here, this, you know, tomato slicer right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this off at the bottom, just like you see like that, right? I'm gonna cut them about a half inch. That's good right there. You guys can see it's starting to ripen, but nice and firm. And then here, we get about a half inch. Just like you see. I'm gonna go ahead and take these. And what I did was I got myself a paper towel. And the reason I got these, because look, I wanted to absorb any of the juices as of right now. So I'll just leave them like this. And I got a next, another one, because I'm going to pat them all on the top side. Okay, so now let's get our stations together. Let's go ahead and just whisk it all. Breadcrumbs, Creole kick, cornmeal. And this right here is what gives it that flavor. This with that Parmesan, that Creole kick and that Parmesan right here. You guys, if you guys have had these before, you just leveled up your game. Now we'll take these, this right here, and we'll just pour it in here. And now we have another station. Okay, now we'll just go ahead and do it like this. I'll take the flour. All right, and then I'm gonna just take a teaspoon of this kosher salt. You know, we'll just add it to that. Make sure we got that incorporated good. Once we're done with that, now we'll bring it here and we just add it there. Now you got another station. Okay, so now we'll do the, you know, the wet station, right? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna mix everything here. I'm gonna go ahead, scramble these eggs. Grab my whisk. And once I have that done, then we wanna go ahead and just add our milk. And then we are gonna incorporate this inside of it. And this will be our wet station. I did it this way. This way you guys know that everything has been mixed properly. Your eggs are, you know, scrambled like they're supposed to be. Now we'll just go ahead and add that. And now we're done with that, right? 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it up for you guys so you guys can see it in this particular order right here. One, two, three, and then we gonna fry. Okay, so here you go. You see it set up. Station one, two, and three. In that right, in that order, right? So go ahead and grab yourself one of these. You just wanna get one. Then we gonna flip it over. Look, this is real simple. I don't wanna overcomplicate this, make it seem like we doing a whole lot. Look, shake off any excess that'll come off. Then we go over here to our wet, right? I just give it a shake so it'll get on the side. Take it, flip them over, give it a little turn, right? Then we'll shake off whatever we can shake off here. Then we move over here to the last, right? And this right here is where the magic happened because that got all the seasoning in and all that. Now, just take some, you can add some on the top, kind of like move it around like this, just because we want to get it completely coated, right? Even on the sides. Now, take it, shake it off, right? And then we just go ahead and stage it right here. As you can see, I got myself a cooling rack. We're going to line them all up, then we're going to move over to the stove, and then we're going to fry. At this point, this is what they should all look like once you have them staged, and now you're ready to move on. You can see these, you know, my tomatoes are already breaded and ready to go. What I want to do is I'm going ahead. I'm using vegetable oil right now. I'm just going to pour this just so I can have at least a half inch of covering, you know. So now we're going to go ahead and bring it up to temp. And what we want to do is we want to get this to about 350 degrees. So once this comes up to temp, then the rest is self-explanatory, right? We put these inside. We're not going to overcrowd it. And the reason we don't want to overcrowd it is because, listen, we want the oil to stay the same temperature. Even though our tomatoes was at room temperature, you know, overcrowding it, it does bring the temperature down and we want them to cook, you know, even. That's the key right there. So they all be ready at the same time and you got the same texture when they're done. Now, now, depending on the size of your, you know, your saucepan, you know, your pot or whatever you're using to fry in, that'll decide how many you put in there so that you don't overcrowd. Now, after that, putting those three in there and knowing that I can add another one, I went ahead and just made it four. That right there is perfect. Okay, so you can see they starting to brown. So look, we'll just flip them over. Just like you see here. And then we'll let these go till we, you know, achieve like the, the desired color that we're looking for. Okay, so you can look at the color. Look, I'll just let it drain like that. We'll look at the bottom of it, nice. We we'll just set it over here on the paper towel line baking sheet. And we set them right on there because we want to get all of that oil off of the bottom of them, right? So I'm going to take another one off. Look at the bottom. Yeah, these are perfect. Okay, so now you guys can see them. They're completely done. Uh, you can see on the napkin where it absorbed a lot of the, uh, the excess grease. So now let's just go ahead and set them up so that we can plate. Now here, I just went ahead and just put some of the larger slices, like the ones that came out of the middle. I tried to put those more so down towards the, top, the bottom. Now I had so many ideas on what to do, but then when it come time to, you know, doing them, I just decided to just go ahead and stack them, right? And then, you know, looking at them right here, I knew that they needed some green, so chives came to mind. Now I'm going to take a little chive just to give it some color. You know what I mean? Just to sprinkle a little bit over the top. This is all just for the garnish look. Nothing wrong with a little chive on everything anyway. So I want you guys to tell me, hey, I'm going to just sprinkle this a little bit over the top. And we'll leave it just like that. So I want you guys to tell me what you guys think about that right there. Hey, now let's go ahead and dig into these right here. Because look, this is like one of my favorites too. I love appetizers. So let's get down. Okay, so here it is. We played it up. I got a big smile on my face. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it like this. I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little dip in my little ooey sauce, which I'll leave all of the ingredients for this sauce down in the description box below. So let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves a bite of these. I say ourselves, cause I know you guys are gonna make it. But hey, look, enough talking, let's get it. <laughs> oh man. Let's check it out, y'all. This my dip. <laughs> Wait a minute. So juicy. And I'm gonna pin it in the number one comment. Oh man. 
Hey, so you know this ending is gonna be real quick. Let me wipe my mouth and let's get it. I can't say enough about it. Hey, listen, this is the perfect recipe for the end of the season, like the summer ending. You guys got those tomatoes out there that ain't quite, you know, all the way ready. Look, this is a perfect, you know, recipe for you guys to put together. Hey, super easy, big on the flavor. Now, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell and then click all so you guys can get the notification anytime I drop a video or do anything here on YouTube. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'm out of here. Peace.